Big Country Politics on KTAB continues. <laughs> All right, welcome back. We are with Alan Frizzell. He is a local oil businessman here in, uh, here in Abilene in the surrounding area. We've talked about kind of what got us here. We've talked about the Iranian mm -hmm. situation, the Russian situation. Uh, we talked about storage tanks. There's no storage. Um, and all of these, you call it kind of a triple whammy uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 of things that happen in the, oil in the oil business. So this leads us to where we are now. And where we are now is, it's not business as usual for you guys. What, what's going on now? Well, <clears throat> after that negative day we had when the, the trading closed on April 22nd and that's when the, all the traders panicked and said there's no more storage so they, they dumped their oil the price went down price now is back to about $16 I don't know if it'll stay there or not positive $16 positive a 16 uh, I don't know if it'll stay there through the month and through the next to the next trading cycle but we are shutting down production even in the Abilene area and sh production is being shut down in in the Midland area uh, in South Texas in the Eagleford offshore production is being shut down uh, that's 15 percent of our of our domestic production uh, but locally you know operators are I've, I've been talking to other operators and I've, mm -hmm. I've shut my production down or, or decreased it 15 to 20 percent or 50 to 25 percent Wow and that's what's happening people are are, are are deciding not to sell their oil at these low prices and uh, so the supply will will come down and hopefully there'll be more of a balance between demand and supply as the states and the cities uh, start back in business again after the coronavirus People shutdown. Get out more. And so we'll have more demand and hopefully that'll, that'll happen. What, what does, what does <coughs> it need to be? What does it need to be a barrel for you guys to be successful? Mm -hmm. Probably in the Abilene area for most producers, it's uh, $15 to $25 a barrel. Uh, in Midland, 35 to $40 a barrel. More expensive production there to find and produce, much more expensive. Uh, and other shale basins that produce a lot of oil, the Bakken in North Dakota, Eagleford, uh, their cost of production is, uh, again, $35, $45 per barrel. So that, that's a break-even price. Wow, break -even and, price. And, and when you think about that, $45 a barrel down to below zero. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Is, that is a scary yeah. thing in your mm -hmm. business. Or 16 now. It's 16, 16 right now. 16 now, so, yeah. yeah. So you're losing $30 on every barrel you produce. So we're, we're talking very generic terms in my mind um, and in people who aren't in the oil business because we're thinking okay we're thinking barrels but this equates to jobs sure uh, and jobs that we probably who are not in the oil business aren't even think of thinking about mm -hmm. that are affected mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that well job losses are tremendous in Texas uh, because we're, we're directly affected so much more by the, by the oil production stoppage and, and all the frack crews uh, there were over 500 frack crews working a month ago and now there's 150 so there's been a 70 percent that and that frat crews are we talking in this area uh, the midland area midland area midland, okay eagleford south, okay. south of san antonio some in it a little bit in this area not much okay but yeah in texas it's in texas that's the texas figures and so each one of those frat crews represents about 20 jobs each uh a drilling wow. rig a drilling rig supports about 25 jobs every drilling rig our rig count is is declining every day it's gone down tremendously in the abilene area uh, it's probably gone down 80, 80 90 percent. So we've got 20, 25 wow. jobs for every rig, and we've had, we maybe had 10 or 15 rigs still active in this area. So we're down mm -hmm. to maybe five rigs. So that's 250 uh, jobs per rig. Wow. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, we're losing a lot of jobs. So it, it, it really is a thing to see if you've ever been, and I'm sure you have, if you've ever been over into the Midland area and seen those big mm -hmm. yards where they used to be empty. Oh, and yeah. now, when I go back every so often, the, the rigs are in the yard. I mean, rig after rig, it just parked. Oh, yeah. Just, that's, oh, yeah. that's not a good thing to okay. see right now. No, it's or not. Ever, really. All the equipment, not just rigs, but uh, workover rigs and frack equipment and pumping equipment and all, all the well service uh, companies that are needed by the oil industry. Well, are all it, shut down. Well, and I guess truck drivers. Mm -hmm. uh, drivers. Parts stores, maybe I guess, for to service those supply trucks. Supply stores, supply stores, yeah, yeah, every, every, everything. And then that that translates onto the the uh, the retail stores, the restaurants, uh, all all of those things that that were servicing the people that worked out there and here and, and here, here in Abilene as well. Supply stores. I have a supply store that I own that 
uh, with another gentleman, and, and we have 10 employees, 10 to 11 employees, and we're trying to keep them working by reducing their hours mm -hmm. and reducing the days they work. And you, you've seen, you've noticed, you noticed the, the slowdown in the, oh, in yes. the supply store. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, tremendously. It's, it's, there's yeah. not much walk-in traffic like we had, and it's just, yeah, it's not very busy at all. So we got a couple of minutes left. What, what needs to happen now to get us back on track Obviously, we need to get out and about again once we take mm -hmm. care of COVID-19. Um, and, and, and there's no forecast for that, is there? But what, what needs to happen in the meantime while this is going mm -hmm. on? Can you say? I mean, I don't know. It's, it's really, it's just basic uh, free market principles. Yeah. That demand has to increase by getting back in business and using mm -hmm. more oil. Airplanes need to start flying again. People need to start dri <coughs> driving again and buying gasoline. And then supply needs to decrease, mm -hmm. which is going to happen if people are shutting down their production right now uh, because of the price. We're going to have a, uh, not a shortage, but we're going to have a, a decrease in supply and production, and that's going to help. That's going to help the balance. Abilene's in pretty good shape because we've diversified our economy. The, 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 the oil bust you mentioned, maybe in the 80s, 70s, mm -hmm. 80s that we had, uh, in, in the early 80s, uh, Abilene was about 50% dependent on the oil business. Wow. Now, the last study was done, and it's been a while, but maybe 25% or less. Mm -hmm. So Abilene has done a good job of diversifying, whereas Midland, you know, they're dependent uh, on the oil business 45 to 50%. So it, wow. they're going to have wow. a bigger hit, as always, mm -hmm. as, yeah. as you mentioned. Yeah. So. Well, and I guess it's kind of like this time a double whammy because we've diversified mm -hmm. uh, out, of, out of the oil business, not totally, but... We've kind of, we've diversified into the service industry, really, and sure. they've taken a big hit as sure. well. So it's kind of like a oh, yeah, whammy sure. out there. Yeah, sure. So I think Abilene, I think we'll weather it okay. It's just going to be, I don't know how much activity will increase uh, uh, in the restaurants and the stores and all that. I hope it comes back all right, well, completely. Well, stay in touch with us. You've really sure. kept us up, uh, up to date on what's going on and helped us understand Anytime. the oil business here in Abilene. We thank you for that and thank mm -hmm. you for being on the show. Hey, Victor, thank you for the attention. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you, sir. All right, we'll be back on Big Country Politics.